Tech and Clip Oh, 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 yeah. Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Philip, and this is Philip Easy Reacts. Yes, on this channel, we do music reactions to your favorite songs, to your favorite bands, to your favorite artists. The kind of content you are very much interested in, you want to do subscribe to the channel, join the family, all love, no negativity up in here. We have a new artist on the channel, you know, shout out to Thomas, you know, for introducing uh, you know, this artist uh, to this channel. Yeah, as you can see from the title, her name is Sarah Brightman. Sarah Brightman, I'm not too sure who she is. First time, you know, hearing her name, and um. I mean, Thomas, let me know she's like from UK. I'm not too sure, but yeah. Um, she has this performance live in Vienna. Song is titled uh, Fleurs du Mal, uh, meaning <laughs> flowers of evil, you know, uh, based off of the information that I was given. Uh, like I said, first time about to check his uh, her music out, you know, first time hearing her name, you know, be sure to stick with me to edit the video. I'll definitely give my review in the end. I hope to see you there. So yeah, without wasting much time, without further ado, Sarah Brightman with uh, Flowers to More. I hope I'm getting the pronunciation right. Yeah, that means uh, Flowers of Evil. Let's take a listen, guys. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. This is a live performance, you know. I have to say, for a live performance, it sounds so so good. This is going to be good. I can definitely feel it. <laughs> Guys, uh, I mean, so far so good. Sarah is definitely killing it with the vocals. You know, I didn't expect you know, the, the 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 chorus you know to be backed by uh, a whole choir. You know, I feel like that is giving me a whole vibe and uh, taking the song to a whole new level. I'm loving this. I have to take this back, guys, because I I love that part. <laughs>
Yeah. Well deserved. Well deserved, guys. All right, guys. So yeah, uh, that was uh, Sarah Brightman with uh, Fleur, Fleurs du Mal. Yeah, uh, Flowers of Evil. Uh, first of all, you know, shout outs to um, Thomas. You know for. <laughs> introducing me you know to sarah's music you know i believe she does um I, I think a rock opera you know um i was definitely blown away i was definitely blown away by this performance you know i am definitely hooked i mean right from the uh beginning i definitely had a feeling this was going to be good you know yeah i have to say sir sarah, sarah brightman's in a rendition to uh this song uh flourish the more you know, in her live performance, you know, um, in Vienna, I mean, definitely breathtaking. You know, this is a, a, a breathtaking uh, display of artistry uh, and emotion, I have to say. Yeah, I mean, I definitely love her vocal prowess. I feel like I was so, so, so unparalleled. And uh, I mean, this performance definitely served, you know, as a testament, you know, to her uh, vocal mastery, if that makes sense. Yes, um, I love how her voice effortlessly, you know, traversed, you know, the haunting mel melodies of the song, you know, Fleurs du Mont, right? Yeah. Um, furthermore, showcasing, you know, that remarkable range and control. Uh, I mean, from those, you know, delicate whispers, you know, to powerful uh, crescendos, you know, Sarah definitely captivated the audience, you know, with every note. I, I was just watching and I was blown away. Yeah. One of the most you know, striking aspects you know, of uh, this performance uh, to me is the raw um, emotion you know, conveyed by Sarah. I feel like this song, uh, 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 Fleurs du Mor, you know, is, is, is a deeply evo uh, evocative song. You know, and Sarah definitely went and she infused it you know, with a sense of you know, longing and melancholy. You know, that definitely resonated uh, with me personally and I'm sure resonated uh, with the audience. Um, I mean, I love her emotive you know, delivery. Uh, it effortlessly draw, draws you as a first time listener, you know, into the heart of the song, you know, making, <laughs> you know, making for, you know, profoundly moving um, experience. Yeah, um, I loved it. I mean, I definitely loved her vocal vocals on uh, this performance. Yeah, um, I mean, this performance accompanied by, you know, that lush, you know, orchestral arrangement, you know, I feel like Sarah's performance, you know, was elevated, you know, to new, uh, uh, newer heights. You know, the arrangements you guys already saw complemented her vocals, you know, beautifully adding depth, you know, and texture, you know, to the whole song, to the whole performance, that is. I mean, from sweeping strings, you know, to haunting piano melodies, uh, to, you know, violins, cellos, you know. Yeah, I feel like every element, you know, of the arrangement, you know, was uh, meticulously uh, crafted, you know, to enhance the overall impact of the performance. I have to say, for a live performance, this was, this, this came out so, 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 so well. You know, I, I was blown away by, you know, the whole orchestral arrangement, the instrumentation and all of that. Yeah. Um, I also have to talk about, you know, Sarah Brightman's, um, you know, stage presence. You know, I feel like her stage presence, definitely magnetic. I love how she commanded uh, the audience attention from the, you know, from the moment, you know, she stepped uh, on stage, you know, in the red dress, you know, walking down <laughs> the aisle and stuff like that, you know. Um, I mean, her, her, her graceful movements and her captivating expressions, further, you know, enhanced, you know, the, the storytelling aspects, you know, of uh, uh, the performance, you know, creating that sense of intimacy and connection, you know, with the, uh, with the audience, basically. I loved it. I definitely loved it. You know, I'm not too sure what the song is all about. You know, maybe you guys can help me down in the comment section, but I love the song. I love the performance. I love uh, Sarah's vibe, you know, and I look forward to checking out more, um, you know, from her. So yeah, if you love her, if you love my reaction to her performance right now, go down in the comment section, make sure to you know, uh, throw me some suggestions and I'll definitely come to and check them out. So yeah, in conclusion, this uh, Sarah Brightman uh, rendition of this song, uh, Fleurs du Mall, you know, in her live performance in Vienna, definitely nothing short of, you know, extraordinary, you know, with her impeccable, you know, vocal technique, emotional depth, and, uh, you know, captivating stage presence, you know, she definitely went and she delivered, you know, a truly unforgettable performance that I feel like left, you know, a lasting impression you know, on all who were fortunate enough, you know, to witness this. Even, like I said, I just sitting by, behind the screen, 
was blown away. Yeah, this rendition is definitely a testament, you know, to uh, her status, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, Thomas, let me know. She's one of the most iconic performers of all time, you know. So, yeah. Let me know, guys. Yeah, more reactions such as this on there. So stay tuned. My name is Philip, and also the next music reaction. Take care. Stay safe. Peace out.